All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. We've got some more of that anthropomorphic violence simulator. Uh, the game, the movie, the life, the adventure. But yeah, we're back for some more Cuphead. We've been killing some things around here, getting some sweet moolah that we can spend at Pork Rinds Emporium. And uh, I just beat a couple of bosses, so maybe what I should do is purchase an extra heart for health and that should make my life a little bit easier i just love the idea that the uh the evil vendor that you buy stuff from in his traveling shop is basically a nightmarish porky the pig so i found another boss here while you guys were away he's down over here and it's this flower patch over here the floral fury which is essentially the most grotesque and suddenly demonic looking flower that you've ever experienced. So this guy, he likes to share his face with you and he wants to legitly touch your body with his weird grotesque face. Almost like he's got a weird face boner. And his whole deal is he sprouts different plants and all of them would really, really, really like to kill you. So we've got to hopefully avoid them before he tries to kill us with his seed boomerangs or his seed missiles. It's, it's really, it's a lot more of a pain in the booty than I think it looks like, but I don't know. I think, and not to make a plant pun, but I, I would say that in all honesty, the, the, the charm and the aesthetic of this game is kind of growing on me. There's something about the nightmarish qualities of this game that are just too adorable to ignore. So, can we avoid these guys by hiding down here? We can! Haha! -ha! Alright. So this is actually a pretty easy boss battle, at least I think it is. Because... As long as you can avoid him hitting you with stuff like his weird root fingers, you're pretty much good to go. And he has got a lot of nasty stuff that he really wants to share with you. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten quite to the end of this one yet. So I don't 100% know exactly what it all is like. So I could have sworn I just bought a new heart for my character. Do I have to equip that before I can... Wait, hold on. I bought an extra bit of health. Does that not carry over to the rest of it? Or do I have to equip something? Oh, I do. I have a charm slot. Oh, okay. Uh, is that... I guess that's cool. I mean, you can't have everything be just a, a stacking upgrade, because otherwise this game would very quickly get to be the point where it was like in The Binding of Isaac. Because in The Binding of Isaac, every upgrade slash downgrade that you ever get in the game stacks together, so you become like an unstoppable mutant creature. And there's nothing wrong with that per se, but it's definitely not as unique as it used to be. But that's fine. I mean, again, these are boss fights that are all about just matching patterns and learning what it is exactly that this character does. Very much like Dark Souls, in a way. Which, I guess that's sort of becoming a kind of its own cliche anymore, where you compare everything to the boss mechanics of Dark Souls. I, I bring that up a lot. A lot of other critics that I watch bring that up a fair amount. And is it a little bit lazy? I'd say probably. But it's valid. I mean, it certainly is valid to bring up those comparisons where they might not have always been valid in the past. Is there like a way for me to get health back during these? I know you can build up extra special moves in this game, but aside from that, I don't know. Oh, come on, really? Suddenly in the bum. That was just rude. Good day for us. I think the thing that I don't like about this game is the same thing I didn't quite like about, um, Dungeon Souls, or... Was that the one? No, Dungeon Souls was the other one. It was Titan Souls. Which was that the whole game... It takes out all the exploration and sort of the lore and adventuring portion of a game like this, and it just sort of becomes killing the bosses over and over again. Which, you know, I guess that's fine. 
But I kind of like a little bit more exploration, a little bit more about the universe that I'm exploring and interacting with, as opposed to what I'm getting right now. Oh, come on. Jump up, you butt. I'm already losing health to this guy. And that is no bueno. Can I just use the regular gun on you? I wish one of these guns would just heal me a little bit. Okay, that's fine. There's the second one. And we're almost up to phase three, four? No, I guess it's four, technically. Oh, yeah, I got hit by a seed. All right, well, to hell with this. I'm gonna go back to the map and see what else we got. These bosses are super annoying sometimes. What's your stick? You're like an ax. What are you looking at? My chip? Ha, huh, it's not my fault. I've been busy fighting off those casino debtors. Now I gotta save up and have my blade fixed. So help me, I wish someone would bust that King Dice one. All right. I mean, I gotta say, King Dice is kind of an a-hole, so I completely understand that. It's like I can't sneak this way to go to the Yield Observatory. This is a side mission that I don't really care about all that much. It probably leads somewhere, like it opens up another part of the environment. Uh, this looks like another, yet another boss fight down next to the sexy fish lady. Be gone, spirits! Oh wait, you're real. I was about to hit you with one of the old parry moves. That's how you deal with ghosts around here. Only a nitwit tries shooting someone who ain't really there. Speaking of not being places, would you fellas mind moving on? You're spooking the fish. Uh, that's weird. So I'm playing alone, but they're referring to me as if I'm here with my brother Mughead or Mugman or whatever. But I am definitely not. That's not what's going on here, like at all. Okay, so this is where they teach you about parrying as being like useful. But so many of the pink things in this game that you end up having to go into will actually deal damage to you. So when do you know when parrying needs to happen? Like, that's my question, because this is... There's a little bit of inconsistency going on here. All right, we just gotta protect this from being touched by ghosts. This is the latest thing from the people that made Touched by an Angel. Touched by a spectral hand that's a little bit too grabby. In the arms of a ghoul. Trying to fondle your spirit if, uh, thingamabopper. It's a really nice glowing centerpiece, but their hands are kind of icky. Yeah, what is the deal here? Is there like chocolate in here? Is there like ghost chocolate that I'm missing out on? It seems like it. Or maybe it's like a, a hamster, like the world's best little hamster pet that everybody wants their hands on. But the only way to grow it if you're a ghost is to turn it into a ghost. Well, no big deal. Hey, we saved it. Hey, it's a sexy cup lady who's also a ghost. Gosh, I don't know how to thank you boys for saving me. Where are my manners? Didn't even introduce myself. I know as, I'm known as the legendary Chalice. Pleased to meet you. I was searching for magic and got trapped by those ghosts. Speaking of magic, please accept this gift. It should help. There are other mausoleums around Inkwell Isle. I just wonder. Huh. So does that mean I can get like a bunch of different upgrades? You unlocked a new super. Okay. Dear me, you mustn't forget that magical super arts have to be equipped in the menu before use. Uh, actually, I, I kind of did grab that, or guess that. So, energy beam. A devastating attack spills from your head, horizontally only, ground or air. Okay, that's fine. I can do with that. Let's go back and use that on our ornery flower pal. Because I think he wants it in the bum, he's just not willing to, to admit it on camera, which is fine, I respect that. You're allowed- if you're a man or a weird flower man, you're allowed to, to occasionally enjoy it in the bum. Alright. Uh, 
Okay, here come the 50 frickin' seeds. Okay, let's just kill all these bad boys. Much better. All right, I think my best bet is to stay on the ground until he tries to give me a good old fashioned facial, which is fine. Like a facial can feel really nice if it's, you know, delivered correctly and not viciously to the face. Ow. All right, you know what? Just get out of here. Okay, for so how is this super even supposed to work, really? Because at present, it seems like it's just doing whatever the fuck it wants and not really giving me anything. Yeah, so is there like a way to equip a super that I'm not seeing? Because this, that, that button just changes my weapon. It doesn't really arm my super ability. Oh well, not, not like it supremely matters anyway. We just gotta try to avoid getting smackered by acorns and boomerang seeds like they have on that one type of tree around here. I like that they kind of, uh, what, you, what do you call it? They did a pretty decent looking job of animating in like the seeds and everything. So that it's actually properly themed towards plants and not anything else. Oh, come on with that. That is just annoying as hell. Sometimes the seeds just, I know they track you one at a time, but that is just annoying beyond words. All right, well, maybe if I just concentrate for a moment, I'll be able to survive this long enough. Ugh, I can't keep an eye on the vines and that thing at the same time. All right, well, let's just do this on regular, like on normal, just to get used to it more, and then maybe that'll help. Because this is just annoying the shit out of me now. So I guess you can do the game on easy, but if you want to like get full completion, you've got to complete it on normal difficulty or regular difficulty, which is fair. But I think it's also fair while you're getting used to like a platforming boss rush style game that you get the option to do it in a simplified mode while you get your bearings back. Because I don't really play a ton of games like this by any means. So, I'm a little out of my element. I've never specifically said I've ever been good at platforming shooter games that are 2D like this. But it's, you know, it's whatever. So how do you activate the other ability? Like, there's legit no other ability that I'm being given here. It's also kind of hard to tell if you're actually doing damage to this guy or if he's just kind of being obnoxious. Because when you shoot him, you get these little puffs or little splaps against the character, but it doesn't necessarily look like you're doing any damage to him. Like, he kind of has like a slight white flash to him, and that's about it. Oh, I see. So, when you power up your super, you gotta power up all of them, and then you get a new ultimate super. Ah, uh, okay, that... That makes a little bit more sense. Not a lot more sense, but a little bit. Okay. Are you almost dead, sir? Yes. Thank goodness. All right. I don't know if I'm going to play a crazy amount of Cuphead in the coming days, but I mean, I like it to a certain extent. It's just, it's not normally a game I go bonkers for, but it's cute. I mean... There's a fun bit of cartoonishness to it, there's a lot of challenge to it, and a very, very sudden steep learning curve between the first boss and absolutely everything else in the game. So, I would be very careful about whether or not you wanted to try this game out for yourselves at home. But otherwise, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.